Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a collective message. We're going to find out what we want you to hear. Please remember this minute resonate for everyone. So let's get straight into this and find out what we want you to know. Okay, whoever I'm picking up on today, I am getting this energy where you've recently discovered some type of talent, okay, and I am getting that this has come from connecting to your emotions, right? Like, I'm getting that there's been an experience where you have really connected to your emotions, you've connected to your heart chakra, and with that experience also unlocked some type of talent or you kind of discovered the talent, right? I am getting this energy where you feel very new to this. Whatever this is, okay, whatever this talent is that you've discovered, you feel very new to it. Like you feel like you don't know anything about it or you have no experience, okay? Um, but this is something that, this is like a gift that you were born with, okay, but this was something that you've just discovered, right? So you could be doubting yourself as well, right? Because you feel like that you're kind of new to this, but the thing is, this is something that's within your soul, right? You've had past lives where you were doing this, you had this gift, okay, this is Something that does not need experience, okay? This is a gift or, or this is some type of talent, okay? That can't be bought, right? But I am getting that there's, this, there's a little bit of doubt, right? And I just need two, two, two. There's a little bit of doubt within kind of yourself because I am getting that you have so much potential, okay? And this gift this talent that you have, you embody, can really take you places. And like, I'm getting, like, you could actually become famous for whatever this is, okay? But you don't see that within yourself. You don't envision yourself being that good or you could be kind of... This is giving me, like, imposter syndrome, okay? You may have some type of imposter syndrome about yourself or you may be questioning yourself at the moment. Um, and, again, because this is something that you did not have to learn, okay? This is something that you're just good at, okay? This is just a gift for you, right? Um, now, a lot of people, they can see your talent. Whatever this is... Um, People can see that you're talented. People really see the potential in you. You seem to be somebody that a lot of people also look up to. They're inspired by you, right? Especially when you're in this space of connecting with your heart chakra and you're in this space of kind of being in this talent. For some of you, you could be a musician, okay? You could be an artist, okay? You could have some type of spiritual gift, right? Whatever the gift is, this is something that the potential, okay, the gift could take you very far. It could make you a lot of money. It could make you literally famous, okay? Even if that's something that you don't want, right? But there is this energy of... That's where you're supposed to be, and this is not going to resonate for everyone. So if it's not resonating, okay, don't take it. But whoever I'm picking up on today, there's just this energy of you being amazing at what you do, right? And people love you, right? People really seem to be drawn to you. You really... I'm getting this energy where when you speak as well, like, people listen, okay? When 
for some of you, if you're a singer, okay, when you sing, people love it, okay? If you're a tarot reader, okay, when you read, people love it, okay? Like, whatever, even if you're, like, an artist or something, like, whatever you do, people love it, okay? Because this is what you're supposed to be doing and you're very talented, very gifted, right? I'm getting that, again, there's a lot of doubt, right? You seem to be comparing yourself to other people. You know, you feel like because, because I'm getting whatever you do as well, like you do it in a way where it is so authentic because it's literally coming from your heart, right? This is something that, it just comes from your soul, right? So when you're doing it, when you're in the moment, okay, it's so authentic and you may feel like, oh, but it's not like how other people do it or this person's doing this, okay, but the thing is, the way that you authentically do things, people are so drawn to, right? I do see you, though, comparing yourself, I see you questioning yourself, okay? For some of you, this could actually stem from the past. I am getting this very judgmental. You could have had somebody in your life that was very hard on you, very judgmental, okay, kind of whatever you did was not good enough, okay, so now you're judging yourself in this way. So I am getting that then this energy where you really need to start having faith in yourself, okay, start, stop questioning yourself and start having faith, right, because whatever this gift is and whatever this talent is, okay, this is something that people love you for it, okay, people adore it, okay, and you, again, you're questioning yourself, but also, I understand that this is a pattern that you, it feels like you've been taught this pattern, okay, to kind of be very hard on yourself, and it's causing a lot of inner conflict, right, like, I'm just getting this energy where you're being too hard on yourself that you may not even be doing anything, right? Like, for example, if you're an artist, okay? You, and you're, you know, doing a painting, for example, okay? And then, you know, you finish your, pa your painting and then you start judging yourself and then, you know, you don't do anything with your painting, okay? Or... If you're a singer, okay, you write a song and then you spend so much time writing this song and then you listen to the song or you read the song and then you're not happy with it so you never release it, okay? You're being very hard on yourself. You're judging yourself a lot and it's not needed, okay? Because whatever you do that's authentic and is coming from the heart, people love, right? And I just think 818. Yeah, I'm getting that um, you have a lot of ideas, okay, you have a lot in your mind here, but you're being so harsh on yourself, you're being so harsh on yourself, and the thing is, people, like, they're not going to be harsh on you, okay, you could already be somebody that in, say, you know, if you have, like, you're an artist, you may have a following, you know, or if you're a singer, you may already be in the spotlight, okay, if you're a tarot reader, you may already have, like, a YouTube channel, right, but it's like, you are being very harsh on yourself, where nobody is going to judge you the way that you are judging yourself, right, in fact, I am getting that, I'm hearing information, so you may actually spread some type of information, or there could be some type of information here that you want to spread, but you're holding yourself back, but people need to hear it, right? Or whatever this gift is, like, people need to hear it because it's healing to them, okay? There's Scorpio energy here, then Virgo energy here, then Pisces energy.
Okay. I'm getting that the, the period of you may have kind of taken a break from this, okay, or maybe you're not pursuing this at all, right? Again, because you, there's a lot of inner conflict going on around you judging yourself and you not feeling good enough to be this amazing person with this amazing gift, okay? But that's who you are, right? And again, this is something that I am getting for majority of you, like people recognize this talent though, like people can see this gift and they recognize this talent and the only one that you're being very hard on yourself and whoever I'm picking up on you need to stop because people adore you, people love you, right? And even if this is something that they, you know, you know that this is resonating for you and again it may not resonate for everyone. But if you feel that this is resonating, like, in your soul and your intuition is interacting with this um, reading and this energy, and you have not, you know, you're not in the public eye, you haven't started anything, but you feel like you need to, this is your sign to do it, okay? And stop judging yourself, stop looking at other people, being like, oh, but I, no, do it and do it the way that you authentically feel the way that you need to do it. You do not need experience. Because I am getting that, whoever I'm picking up on, like, you're kind of embarrassed because you feel like you don't have experience or you feel like you're new to this, okay? Like, no. You are somebody that has a gift, okay? You cannot buy a gift. You cannot even... You can, for example, with a gift, you could, like, literally... Somebody could practice something for 40 years, okay? But if you are naturally gifted you don't need to practice, okay, you know, somebody could spend their whole life practicing something if, but they don't have a gift, okay, but then you come in and you have this gift and you are very authentic about it and you're just coming from your heart chakra, the heart center, because that's the key here for you, whoever I'm picking up on, this talent, this gift, it comes from the heart, so you really need to make sure that you're working on that heart, you know, you're always open to your emotions and really work on the heart chakra at all times, especially when you are practicing the gift, okay, this could be like singing or something, okay, like when you're coming from the heart, okay, that's when the, the gift comes out, but like, you know, people could practice their whole life, for, for example, if it's singing, they can go to like singing lessons and they can try to be a singer, but the thing is, they cannot buy a gift, okay, they cannot, even with experience, yes, like, experience, you know, helps you, but when you're gifted, like, nothing compares, right, so, again, you need to stop judging yourself, and you need to stop, you know, because you don't have the experience, or you feel like, you know, you don't, you're new or something, like, everybody was new once, just remember that everybody was new once, okay? Whatever this talent is, whatever this gift is, everybody was new once. Like, if you're a singer like Mariah Carey, she was new once, you know what I mean? Um, so you have to remember that if you don't put yourself out there as well, then, again, as I said at the start, there's so much potential here with this gift, this talent that you embody, but again, if you don't put yourself out there, you will never know, guys. Like, you know, um, you literally will never know. I don't know, like, whoever I'm picking up on, I just need 14, 14. You are judging yourself so harshly to the point where I'm getting that you... Uh, isolating yourself god what's going on here like I'm just getting that you're hiding yourself that's what it is like you are so harsh on yourself at the moment and you may be wondering why and it's literally because you're not coming from the heart at the moment whoever I'm picking up on and I just seen 14 44 right now you're being harsh on yourself and everything that you're doing and if you don't feel like, you know, your talent's coming through or whatever, it's literally because you're not coming through 
with the heart. You're not coming with the heart. Like, you're coming from the mind, right? And then you're judging yourself, okay? And I see you kind of just going into hiding. Like, I'm just seeing you avoiding, ignoring, okay? If you have anyone around you as well that's telling you you cannot do this, you cannot do that, that will never work, no, mm -mm. don't listen to them, okay? I, I do say that if this... If this is not you, I am getting that it is you, but I am getting there could be somebody around you that is very judgmental, and I just mean 15, 51. They're kind of convincing you that you can never do this, you can never do that, you cannot follow your dreams, it's not practical, right? No, do not listen to this person. In fact, do not tell them, okay? If you're about to do something, do not tell them, right? Because, in fact, this person just does not want you to become better than them, okay? And for some of you, that's the okay. case. But I am getting that for others, they may not understand where you're coming from. There's a lot of doubt that they put into your mind, okay? A lot of fear as well. Again, this is something that is a passion, right? This is something, and again, this is not going to resonate for every single one of you, right? Um, so, like, if it's not resonating, like, don't quit your job, you know what I mean? But if this is something that is really resonating your feeling, Right, or if you're already in the position where this is you, you need to stop being so harsh on yourself, okay? You need to stop listening to voices around you, people around you that are telling you that you cannot do this, that you're not good enough, okay? And you need to stop telling yourself that. You really need to, like, kind of set your goals higher, right? Because the thing is, right, you have so much potential, you have this talent, but you are not seeing it within yourself. Even if you see the talent within yourself, you don't see yourself as somebody that, like, even if you feel like, okay, you know, you're good at what you do, you don't ever see yourself, for example, if you're a singer, right, like, you see yourself, like, yeah, doing okay, but you don't ever see yourself, like, getting to, like, Rihanna standard or, like, Beyonce standard. And, I mean, like, why not? You know what I mean? Why not? You have the talent here. And, again, you may not be a singer, but whatever, you know, this talent is for you, just put it in that, them terms, okay? Um, but, yeah, I do see you kind of being the one that's, like, no... Like, yeah, I'm good, but I would never be that good, which is just simply not true. You have so much potential, okay? You need to start having faith in yourself and start believing in yourself. Start manifesting. Start manifesting that this is you, okay? This is your life, you know what I mean? Like, start setting higher goals for yourself because you right now, you're really downplaying yourself, you know what I mean? You're downplaying yourself. You're somebody that is so special, so talented, so unique, right? Like, own it, right? So, that's all I have for you guys. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next reading.